What's up guys, today I have a match against Mr. T, make sure you check his channel out. Now as you can see, I'm using a new team today, I just made this team before this match and I just had some new Pokemon which I had raised, so I wanted to try them out. Anyways, I'll lead off with my T-Tar as he leads off with his Talonflame. This is perfect for me as Talonflame cannot touch T-Tar whatsoever and I can get a free Dragon Dance up as he goes for the U-Turn and switches into his Gorgeist really made no sense maybe he predicted me to go for stealth rocks or maybe stone edge but uh, even though gorgeist is a defensive monster it's not taking a plus one crunch from a mega titar so it goes down he brings in this guard chomp i thought i could live an earthquake from this thing if he's not life orb and he is not but he has brick break wow totally caught me off guard you never see brick break on a guard jump so anyways i bring in my town flame just to bait his tyranitar out so that way i can go into my hydreigon and scare him out with a focus blast and i can get a free substitute this whole thing works up perfectly he predicts my focus blast and goes into town flame and uh, yeah so i'm behind a substitute he goes for the u-turn breaks my sub as he's gonna be bringing the scissor in to take the dragon pulse and at this moment, he's unaware that I do carry Fire Blast. Every Hydreigon does carry a Fire type move. And uh, yeah, so this uh, Scizor is gonna be getting melted. So there we go. And uh, this is my substitute plus three attacks Hydreigon. It's modest, so I cannot outspeed this Guard Chomp. So I have to switch into my Gliscor as he predicts the switch and goes for the Swords Dance. That's fine with me, you can dance with your swords all day, I do not care. So I go for the earthquake, it lives like 10 HP, wow. So I need to go for the protect just to live another dragon claw from this guard chomp. So his quick claw activates and really I didn't get why he went for the swords dance. He could have just went for the dragon claw and tried to get as much as damage he could possibly get. But anyways, I'm not complaining, he brings in this talent flame. And Town Flame can only two hit KO a Gliscor if it's a, if it if the Town Flame is at plus three damage. So I can stall this Town Flame out with the Toxic Stall as this is a sub Toxic Stalling Gliscor, and I've got the Toxic on this thing, so I can just go for the Substitute Protect and just kill this Town Flame off with this Toxic. So this is what I love about Gliscor. You can stall the things out. So yeah, Gliscor is like one of my favorite pokemon i loved it since i saw it in anime so he goes for the roost he has roost u-turn brave bird and ball cup wow so he does not carry flare blitz so this is not really an effective set as he gets easily walled by things like ferrothorn and uh, cleft east armory things like that so he goes he goes for the brave bird easily gonna break my sub but i'm gonna go for another substitute no, I, I go for the Earthquake, yeah, predicting the Roost, so uh, he might have gone for the Roost, and if you go for the Roost on a Flying-type Pokemon, the Pokemon loses its Flying-type ability, so I could hit it with an Earthquake, so uh, in comes this Gengar, he has Destiny Bond, wow, so I predicted him to Mega Evolve, and uh, that's why I went for the Earthquake, he predicts me to switch, Wow, that was an over prediction and he goes for the sludge bomb. I live it and I get up a free substitute So in comes this T-Tar and I'm gonna be going for the earthquake really I do not have anything to lose at this moment and once this T-Tar goes down I can spam like choice bandit brave bird on his team and wow, it's gonna be amazing. So This T-Tar goes down all he has left is his Gengar I guess yeah, this Gengar and it, it, go, it goes for the Shadow Ball. If he went for the Shadow Ball on the first turn, my Gliscor would have been dead. So I go for the Earthquake, take out this Gengar. He does not even try to go for the Destiny Bond because it's just out of the way. So that was a good game and he over predicted a bit. And uh, yeah, that's why he lost. So I just wanted to showcase my Gliscor. So Gliscor was doing some work. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this battle. Make sure to leave a like and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.